Welcome back to a weekend vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Sharon and we do lifestyle vlogs mostly. Um, make sure that you're subscribed and hopefully you're going to enjoy this video. So like I said, um, today we're setting off a weekend vlog. It's Good Friday today. It's um, the 29th of March. And what you saw earlier, I took my kids to the moms because, of course, my helper. I mentioned this in, uh, I think, one or two vlogs ago that this is what I was going to do. So they're going to be at my mom's uh, for the next two nights and then I'll go and get them on Sunday. What is annoying is because, honestly, guys, I feel like I get easily overwhelmed. I can handle it, to be honest, and I actually enjoy it. But I think also the other reason that I like to take them to my mom's is because if you don't know, my dad passed away, I think, uh, maybe five, six years ago. So my mom will be on her own. She does have friends. She does have, like, neighbors she, that she gets along with. But I just feel like it tends to get lonely for her. So I think that's the reason why I also took my kids there so that she can have them for the next two nights and then I can have them for the next two nights. So that's the plan for this weekend. And I'm not going to pre empty my plans because they always change our intro. I'll do an intro for the vlog and it turns out I do something completely opposite. But so far, I have zero plans for the weekend, but I know that plans might come up. I was actually supposed to host two of my friends today, but the thing is, I don't know Kakuba Kumba Komamong, so it's a bit late now and there are things that i would need to use to like prepare because remember i haven't done my groceries so i'm going to see if i can contact those two girls to see that if we can do anything today somewhere else or probably spend the day at home doing nothing i'll probably be sleeping so that's the plan i went also went to kfc to pick up wings and if you don't know anything about kfc zimbabwe it's a gamble sometimes you find the wings sometimes you don't 95% of the times they never have the wings. So I was happy that I got these. Also got oh, okay. also got this. I can tell you for sure it's not as good as the OG pies that we remember when we were kids. But anyway, this is good enough. So I'm gonna have the wings and the pie, and then just binge watch on TV, do completely nothing, and then yeah, that's my plan for the day. And then I think I'll catch you guys once i do anything that's interesting then i'll continue with this i'm heading out now and i just wanted to show you guys my outfit quickly i borrowed my husband's t-shirt and then these bottoms are from mr price and then i'm just wearing these sneakers that you've seen a million times i'm actually going to see my friends the ones i was talking about earlier on and then soon after that my husband is going to come pick me no plans no concrete plans 
we are just going. So I went to town, I was hanging out with Sue and Faye, right? And then my husband came and got me. And then we went to get a few drinks from the liquor supply. The plan is to just drive around her to see what the vibe is looking like. Initially, we, we had been talking about Tin Roof and I don't know if that's where we're going to go or what we're going to do. Like I said, there's no plan, we just, <laughs> The ring where the wind takes us. You can't you can't waste that time. So right now we just came to collect our cola box because we didn't have a cola box when we got the drinks and ice. And then now we're going to head out. <music> This evening has been a definition of bar hopping <laughs> and I'm here for that so let's go to our next stop. Welcome back to a Saturday in this vlog. Noise is because my husband is busy playing Takura in the background. So I'm just going to let him be. I just wanted to say today's a Saturday. Last night was so much fun. Uh, we came home, I think around 10 and then we just slept. So today is a Saturday. Remember, I'm supposed to do my groceries. I think I mentioned that uh, in the previous vlog. So I'm heading to Warren Park now. I was actually supposed to go to Mbari, but it guys I didn't have the energy so i'm just going to do groceries today and see how the rest of the day is going to go i'm actually not going to film uh me in warden park because i feel like we've done that a million other times however if we do anything interesting after that then i will pick up my phone and continue with this vlog mm -hmm. To Warren Park, I got everything that I wanted. 
I didn't film that part like I had mentioned earlier. So now we are at this place. It's called Mastamai. It's like uh, a Chinese supermarket. There are noodles that we really like from this place. So people at my house have a problem with spaghetti. So instead of getting spaghetti, I didn't get spaghetti at um, Gudomat. We're going to get noodles from here. And I'm going to show you guys the kind of noodles that we are here for. The pink ones that I wanted, apparently they are sold out. These are the ones that we got last time. Right? And these ones are going for dollar fifty. But here is the, the, the problem. Spaghetti in it is a dollar fifty. And these ones are going for dollar fifty. So technically these are more expensive than just getting a uh, spaghetti. But also these are really nice. Like I would highly recommend if you like because take you shouldn't get rice but in the form of noodles because yeah oh yeah my rice noodles so makes sense so i think i'm just going to get this i got these i'm gonna get maybe um, maybe five of these and then i'll also get maybe four of these ah four of each four of each makes sense and then I think that's cool. Few moments later. We went to OH to get the tickets. We got the tickets for the um, Winky D Shore. And I'm so excited because I'm just like, I want to see Master H. I want to see Winky D. I've been wanting to see Master H for the longest time. Blink4, I know Wendy is a big fan. She's going to enjoy that. So we looked at the lineup and Blink4 is going to play at 5. So it only makes sense for us to get there around uh, half past 4. So that we're there just in time to get chairs and to also find a good spot so that we enjoy the show. The problem, however, is we, of course, we enjoy every other artist that's on the lineup, right? However, Winky D is only playing at 11 on. So right now, I'm going to pick the groceries that we got. Um, and then I'm going to make some food because I'm avoiding to buy food uh, when we go to the, um, to the festival. So let's pick the groceries and then finish the most stressful part finding an outfit who's knocking at my door my husband is left so who's knocking at my door but anyway yo the excitement so these are all the groceries that i got i only got um a five kg of uh because i still have another one but anyway this is what i got from the chinese store i got lots of rice noodles and let me plug you guys I also got this kitchen scissors, right? Because ish, mine, mine was fighting for its life. Let me show you the one that. I so this was my kitchen scissors, and as you can see, it's not functional anymore. We bought this when we got married, and as you can imagine, it's been a long time. So that's why I needed to get this one. However, I went to Zara because Zara has Zara home section, right? And this is it was going for six dollars. And I was like, I'll buy it when I'm ready. And then I saw this one, it's just going for three dollars and it's quite heavy. It looks like the quality is good. I'll definitely come back with a review for this. But yeah, I love it. So let's get to picking the process. Okay, This is a bit of a weird angle, but I'm too lazy to go and get my tripod. So I'm done cooking. Here's my plate. And we're going to do a taste test because I didn't even taste even the salt to see what the No, I must spray doom. Let me go get doom. It. hope it's going to work so i tasted right i feel like we need a bit of a you know 
ekik chubi nimi nunze zvazviri kuti amuno apa ndazowanza apa apa jo can you guys hear that Anyway, they taste nice. I just needed to put a little bit of chili. So they taste now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have it with uh, some raspberry. Water would have been a good idea. I'll probably have water after this. But anyway. Um, let me eat and then I think I'll just catch you guys before I leave the house because now I need to ne eat. I feel like I needed to take a bit of a nap, but it's just not time. So let me eat, put myself together, and then we go to the festival. Oh, I'm done getting ready now. And when I tell you the struggle to find something to wear was real. I was almost like, do I really need to go? But anyway, I had to make up my mind because let me show you. Let me show you something. Ah, because we already bought our tickets. These are our tickets. My husband already went with this ticket. This is my ticket and win this ticket. I can't waste this money. Now I have to use it. I have no option but to go. Eventually, I figured it out. And I don't know. I'm just looking to having, looking forward to like having a good time. I really enjoy watching like people perform. And I, I, I just remember that I used to attend those shows quite a bit. And for me, it's always like sometimes you discover a new artist. Sometimes you discover a new song. So that whole concept and idea is what I think really excites me. And also just seeing what the vibe is going to look like. Plus seeing Winky D. There are a lot of things I could be excited about right now. But yeah, now I'm just waiting for Wendy. I've been trying to text and call her trying to make sure that she's here on time because i don't want to get there when it's dark i want to get there on time so that i can get um cute pictures if i do get a cute picture i'm going to insert it on the screen if you don't see a picture just know that we were late but anyway um we're gonna go i think in a minute let me show you what i'm wearing okay so this is what i chose to wear i'm just using my tripod because it's going to make much more sense this way so shorts mr prize uh top Top is from Foshini. Then the sneakers I bought via Bash. Story behind the sneakers, guys. Remember that Duke said that we were busy dancing say, and it rained. And we needed to turn the camera. I was saying, remember that Duke said that we went to Kwataka Tampong and then it got it started raining. My shoes got destroyed at that event. So since then, I have a hard time trying to wear them because the white is there, but the threads, like the threads, you know how shoes have threads on the sides. At, at the chat chain so i figured i'm going to a festival again today if i'm willing to waste another shoe it has to be this one that's been destroyed already so that's why i wore those shoes i feel cute with those glasses i'm thinking do i need to wear jeans but jeans are just boring <laughs> let me just wait for this girl and then we go i'll probably see you guys when we're on so i'm back i changed my mind okay hear me out i felt like the shorts they would just keep me busy also they are white i'm just like i don't know what time i'm gonna come back home i would rather just be comfortable and that's why i said what for jeans
fun was hit yesterday and let me close this door i'll be back today is a sunday and if you can tell by this voice so much fun was hit yesterday i really enjoyed myself at that show and the only thing i think well let me backtrack if you're not from harare and if you don't know what the festival was about it's like a bright out sunshine city Bright Arts is an events thing. They do like um, 
weekend chills, monthly things, that sort of thing. However, I feel like, I don't know if they were still doing it, but yesterday I want to believe was one of their biggest events to date. So it was a Sunshine City Festival, Sunshine City meaning Harare, Harare Music Festival. So they had a lineup of uh, artists. It was a two day event. First day being Jia Praiser being the main act. And then second day was uh, Winky D being the main act. Now, the last artist between those main acts that I saw perform live was Winky D, right? Number one. Number two, there's a show I will probably attend soon that I'm also going to see Jia Praiser. So it only made sense for me to go to show Oya Winky D. I, I hate this debate in it when everyone goes, are you team Winky or are you team Jia? Because I feel like they are both good in their own way. And in this case, I think it's just, it's like having that something in iPhone debate. You're never going to win. And if you know, you know about this thing. Like, people who love who they love, and I love them both, actually. But, yeah, I just feel like, yeah, winky D. <laughs> Let me tell you about the show. So we arrived around five, because remember, we were supposed to watch Being for perform. They had a lineup and a time schedule that they had posted. So that's what we were working with. However, the first artist, I think, performed around half past six instead of five o'clock. That was a bit annoying because I'm just like, now all the other performances are going to be pushed back. So I think time management, and also they didn't have wrist, um, what you call it? Tags, the ones that you use when you enter a festival so that when you want to exit you can come back it was a, a, a no it was an a, what you call it basically that's the best way i can explain it because they had no tags i think they should need to, they need to improve on that i don't know why for such a big event like that they didn't put that in place however food stores plenty alcohol Plenty of sellers, though it was expensive, and I think that's one thing that I didn't like. Though they did allow us to bring cooler boxes, dollar fifty on 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 on, like ciders, and maybe if it was going to be expensive, maybe two dollars. Guess what? It was going with three dollars, and me, I don't like, I don't like buying expensive alcohol. So, I think they needed to do something about that. But I don't, I, I don't know about the pricing. I don't know. And then going back to the schedule, yeah, my artist, I think it was a really well thought out um, schedule because my artists actually, they are almost like in the same genre and they complemented each other in the sense that, um, I want to say Master H does Azim Dancehall, Sing is Bazooka, and then Blink 4 is Hip Hop, if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me in the comments, and of course there was Winky D. So the way they lined up the... Um, the performances was really smart and i appreciated that the only thing that i didn't like was the timing aspects of it but anyway blink for did well like you could see that he had practiced um he's also i think confident in terms of like stage presence and also just energy wise i think i enjoyed uh, watching him perform the same with bazooka huh? i enjoyed him perform and then after that obviously i had got to see master h it was my first time to see him if you don't know who master h is by the way Look for his aquatic complex uh, performance. I think that's a good start. You see the idea he has is energetic. He can command a crowd, and I will. If you like this sort of thing, you need to to watch him perform live. Then we had uh, Gary B and Etherton. Etherton. Uh, I I think they used to be. I know Etherton was the voice of judgment yet, if I'm not mistaken, at some point before they went their separate ways. But yeah, they did well. They had a very good uh, playlist. The mix was really good and we enjoyed that. Then we had to wait for a bit because remember, tell me a pushover. We did, you were supposed to perform at 11 and then he yeah, performed at 12. Fine, cool. Wingy D comes on stage. That's where I think my body started to tire. But I enjoyed every minute of it. I am a big Winky D fan. Also, guys, where are people buying those jerseys? I can't see vigilance. What it was? I want mine. I want mine. My children, my husband, everyone must own a jersey like that in this house because it's just I'm such a fan like that. So, I uh, Winky D. I got perform. I was singing on the top of my lungs. At some point, I just felt like, you know what? I, it's okay. I can lip sing. It's not like I'm in a singing competition at this point. I was standing on a chair. I was shouting. I also, I made a friend yesterday and I was actually talking to her this morning. Ah, 
let me just say fun was had anyway coming back to today today is a sunday i'm supposed to go and get those kids i miss them but at the same time I'm like can i push it can i push it and get them tomorrow morning so that i spend the rest of the day just doing nothing in this rest so if i'm thinking but at the same time it's easter and i had planned that i would do like a nice sunday dinner so let me just go and get them i'll just suffer guys they are my children it's interesting <laughs> and they are my responsibility but oh <laughs> right now i just i just have a can because i want to clean the food that i cooked last night uh, uh yesterday before we we went out we came back and then that's what we had also when they left early and then my husband joined me with his friend so we came back and then we ate and then, then just went straight to bed so now i need to clean that mess uh probably bath and i need to start editing this vlog because I like to edit as I go and then the final edit which takes me about three to four hours before I upload will become shorter because Ningen just now Ningen later most of the uh leg work that I need to do. So yeah, that's an update. I was supposed to upload a vlog on Friday guys, but yeah, I was busy and I just felt like, you know what, whatever I was doing on Friday, let me just edit into this vlog, which is what you're going to see anyway. So let me go clean, get myself together, start editing, and then I'll probably see you guys. If I do decide to go and get these kids, then I'll take you guys with me. Also, I promised them some toys, so maybe I'll go into town. I hope that shop is open so that I can just grab a few toys, uh, and then we come back. So we are heading out now, but I'm in a bit of a dilemma because before my helper left, I need a kafa. So now I need to go into town and get an iron, and then, like I said, I need to go and get um, the kids some toys. But also, I want to get some food first. So I'm thinking, do I go and get the foods and do I go and get the kids first, and then we do the errands together? Ah, no, it will be tiring and. It's a bad idea to walk into a toy store with two children. Let me go and get the toy. Uh, let's go eat, uh, get the toys, and then we go to my mom's to get the kids. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hey. 